Thanks, Mr. Thank Chairman. you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for coming, and thanks to your family for providing you with the support. I'm always amazed that um, one of the biggest challenges we have in state government or in, in federal government is improving efficiency, convincing um, the taxpayers that we are, in fact, serious about um, making sure that every dime that's spent is spent in the right direction and that um, we do have their best fiscal interest, um, but yet, you know, these, these sometimes are lonely meetings for me and the chairman um, as we work through a lot of these issues. And so um, we care deeply, especially on our subcommittee, about the role you'll play in um, improving efficiency, responding to GAO, responding to IGs, really pushing, as, as uh, the former ranking member, Senator Carper, said, um, really pushing to make sure that that to-do list actually gets accomplished. I have a, um, I have a, uh, a, not a bone to pick, but I, but I have a concern. Um, uh, Ever since OMB has announced that they are, in fact, looking at reorganization, and every cabinet position is doing this, we've been doing oversight, but yet we haven't been able to get anyone from OMB to give us a status report. And, you know, they are the people who are on point on this, and I think if we are going to be successful doing our oversight, we definitely need cooperation um, from, from OMB, and, and I'm a little concerned that we're not getting it right now. Um, so I'm going to ask you a series of questions and just yes or no. Okay. Um, you don't have to have to ex expound on them, but I think they'd be pretty easy. Um, do you believe it's important for the talent, mission, and morale of our federal workforce um, to accomplish the goals of the federal government, to have high morale? Yes, yep. yes. Do you believe it's okay to sacrifice talent, mission, and morale for the sake of reducing workforce through attrition? I'm sorry, could you restate the question? I'm um, trying to follow. Attrition is typically, you know, we aren't going to hire anyone. Um, a lot of times what you see in attrition is that the most valuable employee is the one who walks out the door, and that's a role we desperately need to fill. So if we're going to reduce workforce, um, you know, it should be more strategic. Would you agree I with agree, that? absolutely. That attrition is not necessarily the way to reduce failure. If you lose your best talent, absolutely not. Will the reorganization process be stronger if OMB gives federal employees and stakeholders a voice in the process and ensures that they understand the goals of the effort as well as how it will be executed? So as senior advisor, I haven't been involved directly in the reorganization process. Um, so I, I'm not super informed um, on the... The, you know, the, the specifics yeah. of who's involved. Yeah, I, I will tell you this. I've gone through, you know, in my role in state government, I managed several agencies. I was never successful um, without involving the people who actually do the work. And um, it, there is a concern that this is going to be top down without actually um, getting uh, folks who do the work day to day involved. And so I strongly recommend that it's important that you do things with employees and not to them. Um, and so just a little bit of advice there. Will the reorganization process be stronger if OMB works to make sure Congress understands its goals? Yes. Yeah. So, so I think when we, when we go through kind of these lists of questions, um, it, it's important that you understand from my perspective why I'm concerned about this reorganization and why I need to have more information. So if confirmed, will you commit to getting up to speed on the reorganization and to um, providing <coughs> testimony um, or input back to this committee or the subcommittee? So if confirmed, I expect I would be getting more involved and, and getting up to speed to it, and I would look to work uh, collaboratively with this committee and relevant other committees on um, an open exchange yeah. I hope we can expedite your your uh, confirmation. I, I find you perfectly well qualified, but just know that there is a larger role of oversight that OMB plays with this committee. And when we don't get the information back from OMB, um, I don't think we can perform the responsibility that we have on the other half of mm -hmm. the committee's name, which is um, government affairs. So um, another, another issue that I've worked on has been the Program Management Improvement and Accountability Act, which is um, something I, I uh, penned and co-authored with my colleague, Senator Ernst. It was signed into law. Um, we're now in that process of seeing 
um, uh, implementation and, and definitely believe that this was an important piece of legislation needs to be um, implemented correctly. And so just want to ask you a series of questions. Um, the law had um, many one-year uh, deadlines um, and some of those have slipped and we haven't seen um, uh, the level of attention. And so if confirmed, how will you take leadership on and execute your responsibilities <coughs> under the um, Program Management Improvement Accountability Act? So thank you, Senator. Um, as senior advisor, I have not been involved in, in any um, of the issues around that particular legislation. If confirmed, I would seek to get a baseline on where we are and, and what, um, if any, roadblocks there are to um, effectively um, complying with the law and, um, and also um, really ensuring that the spirit of what was intended is being achieved. I think um, uh, the chairman has talked about his visits to federal agencies and his uh, oversight that he does day to day. And, you know, we can't underestimate what a bad manager does to efficiency, what a bad manager does to morale, and that this is intended not to be a blunt instrument, but intended to be very strategic. And if we don't have buy-on and, and enforcement um, and a commitment at OMB, we won't realize the benefit of this kind of focus. And so really would appreciate this becoming a higher priority over at OMB once you get over there, or once you're, you're confirmed into this position. Yeah, I, I look forward to working with you on this. Okay, if confirmed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks.